Hi everybody. So, what I want to do is a fun little experiment. I got a um, computer here, which has a video camera, and it can do time-lapse photography, which means when you make a video, um, it plays back a picture many times a second. So it's not, things aren't actually moving, it just looks like it does, because one picture is this, and the next picture is and if you play them back really fast, you get movement. Do you understand? Okay. So, time-lapse photography is when you record your pictures at a different speed than you play them back. So, if you recorded a picture every half a second, but then you played them back at a different speed, uh, like say you played them back at one one picture every quarter of a second then in, in effect you've sped up time double you've made everything move twice as fast we're gonna go a little further than that what we're gonna do is uh, a lot of people have heard about the uh, experiment with where you put a stalk of celery into a glass of colored water and it makes the um, the celery stalk changes color eventually and the reason that is, is because of capillary action and um, the way that plants draw water up their stalks. And, uh, you know, as water evaporates out of the top of the plant, um, it draws more water up from underneath of it. And as water moves up the inside of the stalk, it pulls water from below it to replace itself. Sort of like uh, if, if you have a... Um, like if you have a glass jar full of something, when you pour out the something, the glass jar isn't really empty, it fills in with air. So as the water moves up at the celery stalk, water comes up to replace the water that's leaving out of the top, that evaporates. Okay? So, the classic experiment that um, many people have done and, and, it, and it has been done many times is that you um, put a celery stalk in some colored water. So we'll start with that. I have a glass. I have water. I'm going to put water in the glass. Right. I have, I have red food coloring. Red food coloring. Put some red food coloring in there. I don't know if you saw that go down in there, but loop and we're going to mix it up good stirring it up so it's a nice good dark red stir faster must complete stirring motion okay got a nice glass of red water and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it over here in the sun now I have the video camera pointed at this part on the table so I'll show you that Okay, I'll show you where I put that in the sun. See that? Okay, and now on the I'm going to take the uh, camera off of the stand here. And now you can see the web camera is pointed at there, and you can make it out on the screen right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a picture every 48 seconds. So. What that means is that in 48 hours, I will have 3,600 pictures. And I'm going to play them back at 30 pictures a second. And we'll compress a lot of time into a very short span. And hopefully the cat won't eat the celery before two days from now. So I'm going to start my little time-lapse um, photography thing here. Hit the little button, and uh, and we're off.
Okay, that was pretty cool. So that was f <clears throat> 48 hours, and uh, here's the celery right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut open the stalk and show you the inside. You see the red food coloring going up the uh, inside of the stock there. Pretty cool, huh? We'll, we'll go up further. Still see it there. So that's how you end up with red leaves on your celery in a time lapse photography and coolness. Okay.